this is Kara, aka the Principal Painter, and today I am coming at you with a Diamond Art Club sneak peek. This is uh, pre-recorded because we will be on the road. We are uh, how hint hint as to what this is. Following the yellow brick road to Florida to my bestie Brandy's uh, daughter's wedding. So let's get into this, shall we? So yes, I just gave you a hint. We are following the yellow brick road. You see a very special box here. Uh, Diamond Art Club, as you know, uh, has contracted with Warner Brothers, and this is a special piece from the contract with Warner Brothers. As you can see, there is Dorothy and Glenda the Good Witch from none other than the Wizard of Oz. I am so excited to be getting this. Thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for sending this one to me. Um, you can look at the special box. It's got what you get in your toolkit. There's Dorothy with her ruby slippers. Yes, good, can they see it? Down, up, okay. And here's the front of the box. As you can see, again, special box. It is a square kit from Diamond Art Club. Speaking of square diamonds, Diamond Art Club has worked to absolutely perfect and improve their square diamonds, and maybe their rounds, but I know it's their squares. They have moved their faceting up to 26 facets, which is gonna make these diamonds sparkle like no other. So this diamond painting is called Yellow Brick Road. Again, it is a special contract between Diamond Art Club and Warner Brothers. And can you pan in on this picture? That is the image right there. You've got the Tin Man, you've got the Lion, you've got Scarecrow, and you've got Dorothy and Little Toto on their way to Emerald City on the Yellow Brick Road. I know there was an event called Oz in Og, and um, this might be a perfect one for you to get this Saturday as I'm opening this. Come on, open it up. I don't wanna destroy the box. There we go. As I'm opening this, Diamond Art Club, sneak peeks. Let's talk about times that these are gonna become available. These will be available tomorrow for Diamond and Ruby members on the Diamond Art Club uh, website at nine o'clock Pacific and 12 o'clock Eastern. Then 30 minutes later, these paintings will release to the general public at 9.30 Pacific and 12.30 Eastern. So that is super exciting. Let's see what else is in the box. New toolkit. You have got the thumbnail image. Nothing else in this special box. I love these special contracts between Diamond Art Club and uh, the many companies that they've contracted with because I love these, these special boxes. They're so pretty. Also, I kept my packing slip out as a reminder. There are many, many coupon codes that you can use. Diamond Art Club does not want you to pay full price for any diamond paintings. This is my packing slip. And right here on this black bar, it says for returning customers, use code. And there's a code for returning customers for 15% off. There are codes for 10% off. Uh, I do have an affiliate code. It is Painter10. If you are new to Diamond Art Club and it is your first purchase, you can use the code Painter10 to get $10 off your very first purchase with Diamond Art Club. But let's get into this. I'm excited to see these diamonds. I'm wondering if these are the new 26 faceted uh, diamonds. You can, uh, you, you do get a, uh, a log book sticker that you can uh, peel off, put in a log book. It does have the image. It does have the title of the painting and um, contracted by Warner Brothers Wizard of Oz. It does have the dimensions. It is a square diamond painting. The dimensions on this one are a 71 by 43. And by the length of this diamond painting in its dust bag, I can tell it's gonna be long horizontally. But anyway, this is a very handy sticker to have to put in a log book on your crafting table. Or you can also uh, put it on the side of your box if you store your painting separately, even though this painting does have a picture on the side. Toolkit. Let's get into these new toolkits. Actually, they're not new anymore. I keep saying new toolkits. So let's see what we've got. These toolkits have been so improved and lots of sussies added in here. All right, first of all, you get an ergonomic bag that you can um, store items in afterwards. It is reusable and recyclable for those of you that um, are very earth conscious. You do get, in all of your square diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club, you do get a pair of branded tweezers. These are the, um, the pink branded tweezers. They are the pointy stabby kind. And um, again, they are the ombre because it goes from white to pink and they are branded with the Diamond Art Club 
uh, logo on them. Please keep the sheath on. Do not poke your eyeball out because they are pointy and stabby. You do get uh, a bag of baggies to store your extra drills in or to kit up with. You do get a pen. Uh, these pens come in different colors. The squishies come in different colors. These squishies are for diamond painting comfort. If you are a hard presser like me, you do get a seven placer and a four placer. They are the thin plastic placers. You can put these on the end of the pens if you are going to be placing more than one diamond down at a time. So you can pick either four or seven and they are the thin plastic kind, which are, they're great. And these pens also sparkle. Again, your pen may be in a different color than mine is and that is okay. Like I said, it's all surprises in here. You do get a caddy with two plates of Diamond Art Club's famous heart-shaped wax to put in your pen. There is plastic on these heart-shaped wax, so peel the plastic back before you dip your pen in or you will get no wax in your pen. And I love these caddies. They help keep your wax from drying out. There we go. Another thing that you get that's different, I love these cover minders. These are all different as well. This is a beautiful, looks like a resin dolphin with glitter in it. And again, cover minders, peel back the plastic on your diamond painting, put one magnet underneath, put the cute cover minder. Woo, I'm throwing that magnet all over the place. Put the magnet on the top, you uh, put the magnets together and it holds your plastic back so your canvas is not flippy floppying all over the place. You also get, Washi tape, this washi tape will also be different. I got some really pretty different shades of green washi tape. You do get a good bit of it. You can use this to divide up your canvas and to tape up the sides if the glue comes out a little bit from the image. You also get a clear plastic boat. I've not seen any of the opaque ones. There used to be opaque ones, but I've only seen the clear ones uh, for, for a little while now from these new kits. So you also get a stopper. Love the, uh, I love the trays with the funnels because uh, it keeps your drills from going all over the place when you pour them back into your containers. So that is your toolkit. I hope everyone is doing excellent on this Friday. Uh, remember, I do take a little bit more time on these sneak peeks because you've got decisions to make on your shopping. So these canvases do come in a very nice dust bag. Look at that, write this down. I did not rip the dust bag. That is, um, you can use these to store your canvases in. It just protects the canvas. You do get a buttery backed canvas. These are so nice. These are poured glue canvases. These are uh, what's called a tarpaulin canvas. Um, they are poured glue, which means they do flatten out. They self flatten. The edges to this canvas are scalloped and serge to prevent fraying. And since it is poured glue, which uh, it, you do get clued in that they are poured glue uh, by the fact that there is a clear plastic covering on these canvases, you can roll it back. You don't have to, it, it does flatten out. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be adorable. I'm so excited to see this. I love the movie, The Wizard of Oz. It just makes me very, very happy. It goes back to a time when life is very simple. And you know, The Wizard of Oz has a lot of great lessons in it. So um, I'm rolling this back to help it flatten out. Let me put that down here while I explain some other items that come in your kit. This is a full on sticker sheet. This entire sheet is a sticker sheet. You can see this darling image. I love it. Oh my gosh. They're all dancing. Remember the dance, follow the yellow brick road. I love, again, I love the movie, uh, The Wizard of Oz. Here is Emerald City in the background. You've got a beautiful tree here, but oh my gosh, this is gonna be a darling image. If you are a Wizard of Oz fan, this is gonna be a painting for you. And again, this is a special contract with Warner Brothers. Yellow Brick Road, Wizard of Oz. You can put your start and end date. You can also cut this image out to put where you need it to go. Uh, it also has the shape of the diamonds and the dimensions. Again, it's a 71 centimeter by 43. There are 36 colors in this diamond painting and it looks to be three AB drills. I will tell you what ABs are in just a moment, but any number on the far right column that is under the number 150, that means it is an AB drill. So you're gonna have three of them in this kit. Uh, these are all set, uh, these stickers are individually cut so you can peel them off, put them on your containers. And because of the number of colors, they're also over on the right hand side, they're also uh, white individual, individually cut stickers that you can put um, on containers to label them however you would like. There is a pamphlet that you get. This is a thank you for your purchase from, uh, from Angie, the CEO and founder of Diamond Art Club. In your pamphlet, you have what is included in your kit. 
you have in the, in the center of this pamphlet, you have a QR code that takes you to a video that shows you how to diamond paint, a QR code that takes you to the VIP Facebook group. If you've not joined that group yet, join it. Lots of great information. Uh, information, step-by-step -step instructions on diamond painting, tips and tricks. Here is another coupon code. Thank you, 10. Awesome. And on the back, there are two QR codes, one for an uh, iPhone, one for an Android phone. And if you download the Diamond Art Club app, which I highly recommend you do, I do have it on my phone, uh, you will get lots of good information and you can get 20% off your first purchase through the Diamond Art Club app. So that's a great savings there. So that is that. Here are the drills. The drills are uh, bagged up, but I love this. They label their drills uh, in the bag. Uh, it's got the title of the painting in case like me, you store your drills separately from your painting. I'll get into those momentarily. Let's see this beauty. Let's see this. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is adorable. I love it. Look at them. They're all happy. They're all dancing down the yellow brick road. I love the apples. There's a, uh, appears to be an apple tree right here. I think this is the scene where they fall asleep. No, they fall asleep in a field of tulips, don't they? I think that's right. I'm trying to remember. I have not seen this movie in a long, long time. But this image is adorable. And look at the yellow brick road leading to the Emerald City. I love that. We're gonna be seeing some ABs in that Emerald City. And I may replace some in there too. Um, Emerald City was very sparkly. And look at little Toto down here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be adorable to do. If you are a Wizard of Oz fan, this is gonna be one for you. Oh, this is adorable, I love it. If you have a child, this would be great for a child's room. Actually, this would be great for a media room. Again, for someone that's um, a Wizard of Oz fan. So yes, love it. It is uh, longer. Uh, it's more of a horizontal painting than a vertical painting. Uh, you do have schematics on the upper left and lower right of the painting uh, that help you. The uh, canvas is branded at the top. They've got all their social information down at the bottom. There is also a lifetime warranty on this canvas. So if anything goes wrong with it, they will replace it 100%. And uh, also down here, you do have a thumbnail of your image. Are they seeing all this? <laughs> you do have a thumbnail of your image, uh, the title, the dimensions, and also uh, the licensing information from Diamond Art Club. Are all of their artists and all of their contracts licensed? Absolutely, yes they are. I will peel back this plastic for the non-believers. Is the canvas sticky? Hello, I'm lifting up the entire canvas. Yes, it is very sticky. Wow, this is really, you can see the sparkle in this canvas. I don't know why it's more prevalent in this one, but I mean, I'm looking at the yellow brick road. I know the camera may not be doing it justice, but there is glitter in these canvases. I just love that. Oh, this is adorable. Like I said, if you are a Wizard of Oz fan, um, again, media room, child's room, this would be adorable to put in there. So, when they see this image, I wanna make sure they can see it very, very clearly. I just love it. It's just a happy, fun image. I love that they're dancing down the yellow brick road. So, let me flip this over. I will come back and show you where those AB drills go on this, but let's look at these drills, shall we? I wanna see the facets on these drills. I'm thinking they might have already started the 26 facet process. I am not sure, I will have to check on that. But adding facets, I believe they were 14 faceted drills originally and they've gone to 23 uh, facets. So again, that's just facets by facets. I mean more cuts in the top of these drills. So that is gonna be fantastic. All right, let's go through these colors and I'll show you what we got. We got two bags of 726, a beautiful yellow. You know that's going in that yellow brick road. 647 a gray, two bags of 906, a beautiful green, 775, wow, four bags of that blue, 775, wow, 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 703, another beautiful green, 720, gorgeous kind of rusty orange, 598, another pretty blue, 905, a beautiful green, 728, two bags of it, we're gonna have lots of yellows in that yellow brick road. 381, another pretty powdery blue. All right, ding, 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 ring the AB bell, and we have two bags of it. 141, Kara, 
What is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on these drills that captures facets of light and color from the drills around it and from the environment and just makes the drills all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. Just a little bit more. All right, can we get them panned in? It's harder to see on these white drills, that coating, but when we get into some other colors, you'll be able to see that, uh, that coloring very, very easily. But it just is so pretty. And we have two good bags of it, so that means we're gonna have a lot of ABs in this one. All right, 3326, a beautiful pink, and 400, a brown. All right. Here we go, 898, a brown. 738, 321, that's a pretty pinkish reddish color, 3841, 895, 107, ding, 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 here's your next AB, that is a beautiful pinkish red, and you can really, if Marlon pans you in, can I pull them up closer, can they see that coating? It's really much easier to see it on the red. Just put it back, it was fine. Okay, there you go. all right. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. Marlon has to keep me honest. Here's 310. You're not going to be dealing with a lot of black, but there's some in there. 894, a pink. Ooh, 3851. I love that color. That's vibrant. That's so pretty. I bet that's going to that Emerald City. 814, a cranberry. 413, a very dark gray. All right, here's your next AB, guys. 131, that beautiful yellow. And I'm making the bag go back and forth so you can see that that shimmer on those drills that's so pretty that's going to be gorgeous that'll probably be in the yellow brick road i'm just guessing you'll have to wait <laughs> here's another beautiful uh turquoise color 3808 3325 601 893 these pretty pinks couple of purples 208 and 209 uh they're again Two consecutive numbers, but as you can see, one purple is lighter than the other. And we've got a little tiny bit of 327. It is kind of a mauve purple. All right, last train to Georgia. This is it. This is it. There's some bigger bags here. 3756, a very light, light blue. Okay, here we go. Lots of yellow. Three bags of 726, but that is a beautiful yellow. All right. Uh, 993, that is a really pretty uh, turquoise and kind of a seafoam greeny color. And 948, a nice cream. All right, those are your colors. Let's flip this back over and see where these ABs go. All right, so one, uh, one, is, one is the symbol one, two is the symbol two, and three is the symbol three. So one is that red color. I'm thinking they're, it's going to go in the, these apples up here. Let's see. Yep, there's one. This whole apple is one. All ones. Um, there are kind of they've kind of dispersed the apples with the ABs in them. So that's got ABs. That's got ABs. This one. This one. And this one. Um, there's some ones. Actually, uh, these three apples down here all have ones in them. And of course, as you might have guessed, Dorothy's ruby slippers are all ones. Of course. Can't have ruby slippers without ABs in them. Okay, her hair is all seven. I don't see any other ones. So in the apples and in her ruby slipper that you can see. All right, two is two, and I know where that's going. That's all gonna be all in um, where the outline of the bricks are. Anywhere this darker yellow is in, in the outline of the bricks here, that's all two. That's all gonna be your AB uh, yellow drills. I don't think there are any others. I'm looking in the lion. Yep, that's going to be it. All of these darker yellow lines are all AB2s. And three is three. Three is that white 141. You've got uh, her, uh, Dorothy's blouse is all uh, three. And the white, uh, her pinafore on her dress is kind of checkered. Anywhere you see the white, it's all in here. It's all three. So she's going to be very sparkly. The scarecrow's mouth, the smile is all threes. The tin man's mouth and nose are all threes. Dorothy's little teeth are threes, and she's got a twinkle in her eye. That's a three. You've got, th there's a cloud right here in the sky. It may be hard to see on camera, but this whole cloud, all threes. Also, uh, the white 
uh, striping in the Emerald City, all of that is three. So lots of ABs and also some threes out here. I believe these are kind of clouds or mists surrounding the Emerald City. Right up here, right close are all threes. I don't see any other threes in the sky. I don't think I'm missing. Oh, here, here we go. There's a cloud over here in the sky on the far left. All of that is three all in here. So you're going to have a fair amount of ABs that's going to make this shimmer and shine like no other. This is going to be so fun to work up. This is, again, one of my favorite classic movies of all time, The Wizard of Oz. The title of this is Yellow Brick Road. Um, this would be an adorable one, like I said, for a kid's room or a media room. If you are a Wizard of Oz fan, this is one for you. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, so much for sending this to me. It is adorable, one of my favorite movies. Um, I'm gonna have Marlon uh, get you up close and personal with this canvas so you can really see it. And uh, I know you've got decisions to make tomorrow, so um, you know I, I wouldn't be safe if this one was out tomorrow because I love The Wizard of Oz and this is adorable. This will be such a fun one. And because it's not huge, this will be a fun one to um, work up lots of Lots of color blocking that I see as Marlon is panning over. I'll just explain. There's lots of lots of color blocking. Um, I don't see really any confetti anywhere. So if you are a color blocking person, this is also one for you. The only thing that I see that may be a little bit, it's every other is in her pinafore because it's basically a check pattern. But everything else, I mean, you could color block your life away with this one for sure. So if you're a color blocker, this is one for you, for sure. And I love where all the ABs are. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. All right, were they able to see it? Okay, wanna make sure you guys can see it. Okay, guys, that's what I've got for you. Happy shopping tomorrow. Thank you so much again to Diamond Art Club for sending me this sneak peek. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind and follow the yellow brick road. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.